This metal casting is made with impressive putty mold and a low melt metal. And with this impressive putty, we're going to make a low melt metal casting of a little rubber hand. See the little rubber hand right there? That's what we're going to make a casting of. I heated the impressive putty for about 30 seconds in the microwave. This is a 3 ounce size, which is plenty for this little hand, but we also have other sizes which will take up to about a minute, minute and a half to heat and soften. After it's soft, you want to let it cool. As you'll see here, it's a little bit hot for me, so I'm going to let it put it back down and let it sit for a little bit longer. And I put it back down. Oh, there we go. In the magic of video, it is now cool. That took about another four or five minutes to let it cool. To make the casting, I'm going to spread the impressive putty over and around the hand and inside the, the little joints. And I'm going to leave the wrist part of it open because that's where I will pour in the low melt metal when we get to that stage. So this is a good time to talk about the cool parts of the impressive putty. Impressive putty is reusable so you can make tons and tons of molds with the same mold make material. You can experiment all you want because if you make a mistake you just remelt it and start again. And it's also usable for obviously low melt metals. Um, resins, it's good for resin casting, epoxy resins, uh, Bondo, and lots of other materials. So to cool this faster, I'm going to put it in the freezer or refrigerator and let that cool for about five minutes, depending on it, on uh, how big of a card it is. And while that's happening, I'm going to melt down my low melt metal. The low melt metal that we're using is called Woods Metal. It has a melting temperature of somewhere around 158 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want to go anywhere above about 200 degrees Fahrenheit with a metal or any casting material in the impressive putty because it does melt so it will soften. The metal that I was using had a little bit of crud on the surfaces so I'm pulling that out of the liquid metal before I pour it to make it a nicer, more shinier casting. If you want to do a higher temperature metal such as aluminum or tin or silver or gold, uh, you want to use a lost wax process, which I'll try to put a connection down below to so you have a, a video of how to do that using the composite mold impressive putty. So our impressive putty is ready to go. You press on it with your finger to make sure that it doesn't leave an indentation. And if it doesn't leave an indentation, then you know it's hardened enough so that you can pull out the original and it will keep it shape. I make a little parting line using some scissors to make it easier to pull out the original rubber uh, shape here and this will also make it easier to pull out the metal shape when we are finished with the casting. So the cool part about the impressive putty is that you can remake your mold anytime you want. So as you look at the mold and you decide that it's not nice, just heat it up and do it again. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes to make that mold. The cup is used to hold the, the mold facing straight up so that it fills up the mold. I put a little tape around the edges to close up that parting line. The tape won't stick to the impressive putty, but it will stick to itself. So make sure you wrap it all around. So, so pour in your low melt metal and let this cool. Be sure you're using gloves because that container will be hot. It was on your stove to melt. It's kind of cool because the plastic that you're using in this cup is actually a higher temperature melting point than the metal that you're pouring into the mold. So we let that cool for about 15 minutes, make sure it's, it's all, all solidified, and we pull off the tape, separate the mold, and pull out our hand. I always like to put, ta-da! So, as you can see, Impressive Putty is a pretty handy tool for making molds and castings. you got to at least hand me that one. So, Impressive Putty can be remelted and reused anytime I want to make another mold. You can keep it for as long as you want. So that mold that's in the background there can be used to make another hand or it can be remelted anytime you want. Let me know what questions you have. You can find out more information at compositemold.com or impressiveputty.com. And let me know what questions you have. Thank you so much.